Okay, hello again. Today I'm changing the front disc pads on a 2007 model Ford Fiesta, changing them over to um, low dust ceramic pads. It's a pretty straightforward job. Um, remember the first thing is uh, your personal safety, so make sure the vehicle's on appropriate axle stands and it's nice and sturdy before you start putting your head under here. So I've done all that, removed the wheel, so let's uh, make a start. These are what are called sliding calipers, so there's only one piston and that's on this side and then the pad on the other side is fixed. So as the pads wear, the caliper actually repositions itself by sliding on two pins that are in here. And the way you get these calipers out is you uh, basically just undo those two pins which are an Allen bolt. So first thing I've got to do is there's a clip on the front here. With it. You can see there's a spring clip here. Do that with a pair of needle nose pliers. Just use you can just twist it and pull it out. There, that's it. Now I'll turn this back again. Okay, the two caliper pins are in here. And there's a rubber cap to keep the water and corrosion out, so I'll take the two caps off. There's one, and there's the other. Don't forget to put them back on again. The, uh, inside there is an Allen bolt, which is an odd size. I think it's a 7mm, which most people don't have in their toolkit, but a... Uh, T45 torque screw is 7 millimetres and that fits in there very nicely. So I'm going to use that. Alright. Fully undone. And then the other one. So when they're undone, just with your needle nose pliers, just grab the, the bolt and slide it out. So you can see that. That's the sliding pin, it slides on here. These are quite dry, so I'm going to re-grease those when I put them back in again. And here's the other one. Let's put them to one side. Now, this should just pull off, but if you just twist the caliper a bit to push the piston back in a touch, like that, now it'll just pull off. That pad that pad there actually clips into the piston with those clips. I'm just going to sit that up there. And the other pad just sits in the caliper bracket. That's, that's the fixed pad. That just sits there. So that just literally falls out. There you go. There. What I like to do is using a bit of copper coat grease, which is a very, it's an anti seize compound. But I like to actually put a little bit on the bearing surfaces there where the pads sit. You don't need too much, you don't want to get it on the disc. Put a bit on each one. Like that, and the same on the other side. Oh, there, that's pretty good. Next thing you have to do is, because the new pads we're putting in are much thicker than the old ones, you have to push this piston back in, back into the body of the caliper. And you do that with a G-clamp, push on that edge there, and just wind it back in. So you can see that going in. Just push it in as far as it'll go. There you go, that's it. So here's the new outside pad. So that just sits on the caliper bracket, like that. And here's the new pad that goes on the other side in the piston. So that has to go into there. Those clips have to clip inside. And the easiest way to get them in is using a pair of multi grips. If you grab those and compress them you'll find it a lot easier. There. 
there like that. So that's now in place. And then that just sits back over the disc where it came from. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just get these onto the wire brush on the grinder and clean them up because there's a bit of corrosion and stuff on, so I'll do that. So they're now nice and clean and shiny. Now they go into a rubber fitting, so these are actually sliding on rubber. So you need to use uh, rubber grease, the red rubber grease, which is a high temperature, um, you know, high melting point grease. So you put a liberal coating of uh, red rubber grease on these and then just put them back in again and we're also going to put a little bit of Loctite on the threads. Grease. That's it there. If, they're not, if the brake caliper pins are not sliding in rubber then you need to use a high temperature um, silicon grease or you, you can actually buy brake caliper pin grease. I'm also going to put a bit inside the inside the fitting. Okay, put the top one in. Oh, I'm just going to put the uh, Loctite on. So you have to push the caliper in against the springs. There's a spring on top of the caliper that basically stops things from rattling. So, okay, that the thread there that's actually started. So that's good. Now I'll do the other one. And I'll put the lock tight on the thread. So that's going that's in the first well. one done up. That's the second one done up. Remember to put the two little caps back in. There and there. Let's turn this around. Now. I've just now got to put the little clip in, so I'll put one side in. That's it there. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching.